Hey guys, welcome back to Arduino. Uh, we've been working with uh, uh, creating some uh, coding in Arduino. We're ready to take on a while loop. Now a while loop is used to communicate with someone or a sensor. It gives us the opportunity to have a third party input. And an example of this would be um, the ATM machine. You go down to the ATM machine and you put in your name and your and your passcode and you're communicating with that that program and so the purpose of the while loop is to allow us to get information from a third party now it may be a sensor maybe something like temperature that we want every so often or a flash of a camera or something that that we need to know so the while loop is a really important thing to to uh, be able to master. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and open up uh, an Arduino IDE and let's see if we can figure out how to make a for loop work. Now for loop we'll be using our serial monitor. The serial monitor is this small sign right here. And so that's our serial monitor. And in a minute we'll be using our serial monitor. But let's start by just uh, putting in a couple variables. And today we're going to be using strings instead of ints. So let's put in a string variable. Now the string variable is the file drawer. And so that's what it's called, string. And now we're going to put something in it. And let's put uh, uh, student. Okay, so now I have, and a semicolon. Now I have identified the file cabinet. It's, it's a string. And... In that cabinet, I have put a variable, and that variable is student. And so now I can put information into that student file. So imagine a file cabinet. The, the, the uh, drawer is called a string because I know I need to have a string. It's not an int. It's not a number. And so I'm going to reach up. I'm going to grab the door, drawer, and I'm going to pull it out. And there's going to be the first file in there that says student. Now, you know that in that file, I can put, you know, students. So let's go ahead and uh, move on. The next thing we got to do, of course, is set up the old uh, ava uh, serial dot available, or serial dot begin. And we're going to use 9600. That's the common one we uh, use. And of course, a semicolon. So now we've, we've got that set up in our setup. Now we're ready to move to our void loop. And so our, our, uh, our void setup was, was fairly small. All we're doing is turning on the serial dot or the serial uh, uh, printer, the serial monitor. So now then we're ready to set up our while loop. But before we can do anything, when you walk into the ATM machine, it says something like, you know, please provide your name or give us your name or give us your account number or something. It just doesn't automatically know who you are. So let's, let's go ahead and, and do that. Let's go ahead and set up a, uh, our first question. And we're going to do that with a uh, serial uh, dot print. I must have spelled serial wrong. Line. And so I just want one line. And it's going to be the serial dot print. And now I'm going to ask the question. So I'm going to uh, ask, uh, what is your name? And I want to, and and so I want to provide a space. I'm going to need to provide a space. Otherwise, the, the, when the person responds, it's going to be shoved right in up against the name, and I don't want that. So I'm going to provide a space. I'm going to close my quotations and close my parentheses, and of course provide the, the semicolon. So, so now we've got the, the question. All while loops that are asking for a response have to start with something that somebody can respond to. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to develop our while loop. And so we're going to do while, and if you do it correctly, it should turn green. Now, this is the new stuff. You're going to need to type in here serial dot available serial dot available dot no I'm sorry serial dot available 
parentheses uh, equals equals zero in the parentheses. What that's saying is as long as zero is equal to zero, then, then it should just sit there and cycle. It shouldn't do anything. If it gets a response, it's no longer zero. It's one. So one is not equal to zero. So then it will run the program. So that's the reason that we have that, uh, that equals equals zero. We have to finish, finish it up with a set of curly brackets. And we're ready to move on. Now we have our while loop set up. So now the computer is willing to wait for somebody to answer the question. So it's just going to sit there indefinitely until somebody puts something in. And then that, it, it, it becomes one, it doesn't equal zero, and then it begins to run the program. So that's the while loop. Now it's going to collect some information. Uh, somebody's going to type their name in, they're going to type something in. And so we need to be able to collect that. Now, we've already set up a variable called student. And we're going to use student to collect this information. That's our variable. And that's our file. Remember, we pulled this file drawer open. There's the file inside. We open it up. And here's the student's name. Now, in order to collect that student's name, we have to write serial dot read string serial dot read string parentheses because we're going to leave it open we're going to get it from uh, the while loop and then we're going to use a semicolon so what we've done now is ask for it to be sent to us and so when we read the string we're doing serial dot read we're actually looking at what the person typed in and providing it back to us, okay? But now we can't see it yet. We just have read it. So now we've got to actually say, well, gosh, we'd like to see it. So we're going to do a serial dot print. We're going to do up print line. And we're going to say, we should be nice and say something nice. So we'll say, hello. Hello, and then I, I'm going to put a space in here. I think I'm going to need a space in here. So I'm going to put a space, hello, and then I'm going to put plus, whoop, plus, and then I've got to read that information. I got to, I got to see it, and I put it into student, so I'm going to capture it and put it on my screen in student. So now I've captured it, and I've put it on my screen, and I can now see it. We're going to do a semicolon. We're going to come back down, and just to make it look nicer, I'm going to leave another space under it so that it doesn't all get crunched up in there. So, And how do we do that? We just set a parentheses, quotation, quotation, and now I've got made an empty space, right? Okay. So now this should be our... Um, this should be our while loop. I guess this is the point where we run it and see what happens. I don't really care to save it. Well, maybe I will save it. It's compiling, it's compiling, it's compiling, it's compiling. Looks like we got it. So now we're going to come up here and open up the serial monitor. And it's already started to ask, what is your name? I'm going to put Mike, I'm going to hit enter, and it says, hello, Mike. So now then, I'm and I'm ready to type the, it again, whatever, whatever the next name is. And it's going to sit here and wait until somebody types something in there. If you put, you know, it doesn't make any difference what you put in there. You could put, and it's going to say hello, whatever that is. So anyway, we're, uh, we have mastered the while loop. So I'm going to close my monitor. And so this is a while loop, and this is how it works. Now, your assignment is to go ahead and develop this on out. I want you to ask, uh, let's, I'll help you set up your variables. I want you to ask, um, let's see, uh, how about age? We're going to ask the student's age. 
Uh, shall we ask grade? We'll ask the grade. What else you want to ask? Let's ask uh, sports. Let's ask sports. We'll ask what sports they play, if they play any. Uh, so they can put any sports or none. So let's see, string. So let's put sports in. And there's your variables. So what I would like for you to do is reach out to the student, ask them what their age is, what the grade they're in, and what sports they participate in. Okay? So you will do this over and over. And I would appreciate if you didn't copy it and paste it. Copying and paste doesn't really improve your skill other than copying and pasting. And you probably have already mastered that skill. So what I'd like for you to do is actually master typing it and making sure you type it exactly the right way. So this is a while loop. And I would appreciate if you would uh, complete the assignment and uh, take a screenshot of it, send it to me, and let me take a look at it. Until next time.